Hello, Vacation Bible School friends. Welcome back to day five of Vacation Bible School. I'm so glad that you are here. This is our final day of Vacation Bible School this week. And I want to remind you to see if maybe somebody in your house could help you take a can of or a jar of peanut butter and a jar of jelly to the Lilburn Co-op. That would be really helpful. It will help people who need to make sandwiches so that they can have food to eat. So as we look on back on this week, this adventure of Vacation Bible School, if we think back to day one, we remember Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Our scripture for that day was, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength from Philippians 4.13. Then on day two, right? On day two, our theme was Jesus's power gives us hope. Our scripture verse was, so be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. And that was from Psalm 31, verse 24. Then on day three, our theme was Jesus's power helps us be bold. Our scripture was he gives power to the weak and strengthens the powerless. This was from Isaiah 40, 29. Then on day four, our theme was Jesus's power lets us live forever. The scripture was the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That's from Romans chapter eight, verse 11. And today, day number five, we have, the theme is, are you ready? Day five theme. It's really good. You ready? It is Jesus's power helps us be good friends. That is so important, right? And our scripture verse is love each other in the same way that I have loved you. And that is John chapter 15, verse 12. Love each other in the same way that I have loved you. The gospel of John chapter 15, verse 12. What a wonderful week it has been with you all. I hope that you have enjoyed your lessons. And on this final day of Vacation Bible School, our thinking question is, what does it mean to love others the way that God has loved us? How can we show our love to each other today? I pray that you've had a wonderful week and I so look forward to next year where I hope that we can gather together again and I will get to see your faces. So thank you for joining us this week for Vacation Bible School. Enjoy your lessons today and your learning. Take care. I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. 
or I need to show another bowl that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached, literally. They fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts, a few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Good morning, I'm Miss Laura and welcome to day five of virtual VBS at Trinity Lutheran Church. We are doing Rocky Railway VBS this year and today I'm going to teach you We Can Trust Him, the hand motions to We Can Trust Him. Trust, you learned that the other day uh, on the theme song and power, um, the word of the Lord. And those are really the things we just repeat over and over in this song. So it'll be easy for you to catch on to. The hand motions are pretty quick to learn. For this song, we can trust him. Day five, Bible point, is Jesus' power helps us be good friends. The Bible verse comes from John 15, 12. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. So now... Let's get up and we will learn we can trust him. The hand motions till we can trust him. You can just kind of sway around from this part of the song. Our last song for this year's virtual VBS Rocky Railway we I've really enjoyed 
teaching you these hand motions and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next summer in person, person when we do Rocky Railway VBS at Trinity Lutheran. We miss y'all. It, it's been sad not to get to see you every day and do these songs with you and teach you the hand motions in person. But hopefully you've been watching the videos and watching the videos provided by Rocky Railway because they have the words across the top and you can do the hand motions and it's lots of fun um, to practice these songs. But hopefully you have a great rest of your summer and we will look forward to seeing you next summer at VBS at Trinity Lutheran Church. Bye, take care. Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Alina and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, Ansel's Manos is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, and we do skits and stuff like that. And sus manos is Spanish for in his hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music. My favorite thing about performing is probably looking like um, at the end looking at like all the kids all smiling and laughing and like Sometimes performances are serious, and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ansus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her. Like other people? A lot more. Basically the whole group. Our group, like before, like we were all friends, like we were chill, but now we're like, we're like really really good friends and like we're always hanging out we're always like laughing making jokes jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together this team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share god's love my friends like they help me not be nervous because like they were doing they were doing it too and they were nervous but at the same time this they, they supported us 
I was with my friends and I knew a lot of people in, from church. So was it that, that scary anymore? Serving Jesus together has helped Lena and Renee become great friends, but they both know who the best friend is, Jesus. He, he's like one of our like bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for Him. And so it just helped me like become better friends with people. So He helped me like be friends with a lot of people but still like worship Him and praise Him. In the Bible, in the book of John chapter 15, verse 12, it says, Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus loved us all equally, so we should love everybody because as He says in the Bible, we're all brothers and sisters and love your enemies. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Hi, and welcome to Story Time for Day 5 of Rocky Railway VBS. I'm Mr. Tony. Uh, some of you may know me from teaching first and second grade Sunday school here at Trinity. And really great thing about this is it's a lesson we did this spring in this story, but I'm really happy to have a second chance to get a second lesson out of this because it's really a great message. So I'm really happy to be with you, and I hope that you'll have a good time with this story. Let me share a screen with you quickly if I can. Just to save this and go from here. And this is our, this is our story for today. And as you can see within the picture, we got somebody who looks like they're offering something, or maybe something. Let me take it to scripture here and work with how I can get this, this message to you. This comes from the book of Acts, chapter 2, and starts with verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. All came upon everyone, because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all these things in common. They would all sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, they spent much time together in the temple. They broke the bread at home, ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Now, of course, the people we're talking about, those are the apostles that followed Jesus. And at this point in the story, Jesus has already come to them, told about them this message of love that's there for everybody, how we should be good to one another. And he has been crucified, and he has risen. He's come to them again to say, remember what I told you. This is going to be very important. And then when he left them, the Holy Spirit came to them and said, you are the ones who will go and tell this message to everyone. And this is what they're doing when they're in Jerusalem, is they are being the ones to show and demonstrate this love. They are being generous with people, and the people are looking at them and saying, yes, this is, these are people who love. So the story continues on in chapter 4 of Acts. In verse 32 states, Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many of them owned lands or houses, they sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. So what they did is looked around for people who had need, and then was, they were able to find another person who was generous to say, ah, I can help. And that's a big part of what we are as a church, because what we're saying with, with today's lesson, 
is the church is united. Now, I don't know about some of you, but there have been days, particularly Sundays, when I don't feel as united as I used to with my church because the physical building, it's there, but so we can all stay safe and we can all remember to keep our hands away from our faces and keep our fingers clean. We know we can't be together for all these times and that's to help make sure that you know, people who are maybe most vulnerable don't get sick and we try to protect them. And that's an act of generosity in itself. And I suppose if we really thought about it, we're looking out for ourselves too. So if we stay safe later on, when this is all over, we'll be the ones who can go over and say, yeah, I'm able and I can be generous and I can find people who I can help. But even while we're not in a building, we found ways as a church to be united. Things like this. We're coming to you on a video service so we can bring you VBS. It was really a struggle to figure out how. We knew we wanted to, of course. We knew that we had a good lesson to teach. We knew that we had people that were enthusiastic about VBS. And once we figured out we could do this on video, we're not television production people. We we're not even a lot of TikTokers. But a lot of us grown-ups figured out a way to put our videos here to tell these stories. We're hoping we're entertaining you, but we're also hoping we're getting the message to you that there's a lot of different ways to show Jesus's love. And one of the ways that we want to show this is to say a church united can find a way to be together, worship, and show that we also can be generous to those in need, in need of spirit, encouragement. Sometimes they need bread, like the lady is showing there. So I really think the biggest part of this lesson, and we, we hit a little bit on this earlier this spring, but to reiterate what I wanted to say for this, this is the charge that was given Jesus' words to the apostles all through his life. Show this love. When Jesus came back to them after the resurrection, continue, love one another. In one of today's Bible verses, love one another as I have loved you from the Gospel of John. And that's really a bigger charge because Jesus loved us like no one ever had, and it's something we have to aspire to. I hope that we can get to that place. It may take a lifetime, but what a good lifetime to spend attempting to love one another. So our, our big bump today for this is that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. And how we can be good friends is in a number of ways. If we can take time for somebody to make sure that they're going to be taken care of that day. Have you got a buddy today? Have you got somebody that might need a, a, a joke, a word, somebody to draw with? Maybe you can find a way to sit at opposite sides of a table. Maybe you can find a a way to send somebody a pack of crayons if they are in need of that. One of those things that you do to look out for people that you care for. Now I know in VBS we really have gotten some of the parts down, but some we didn't really get. And that's, that's a shame because we, I love the craft time and the activity time at VBS. And some of you are getting to do that at the day camp. And some of us, we have to make this up as we go at home and figure out the lessons. There's just one activity I thought I'd share that might be a bit generous to do. And I have a little dime trick. And this is just a dime, you know, not much like that. And it's just a trick that I can show you 
and then I can tell you about. So here's my guy, and I'm gonna make it disappear, right? That's just how you go. So I'm just gonna get it, and I've got my hand here, and as a dime, and I'm just gonna swallow it up with this hand, and what happens? I rattle around, shake it up and down, and poof, it disappears. Not in my hand at all. Now, did it really disappear? Is, it, is this dime no longer in existence? Well, not really, because it never really left this hand. And that's just an illusion. See, if I, if I go like this, it really gives you a chance to see, oh, yeah, you didn't really put it there. But if I swallow it up with this hand, then you don't know. So just going to slow it down so you know. And you can play with this. I'm going to use the dime because my hands are a little bigger than yours, maybe. But you have it like this. And you swallow it up with your hand like this. And as I'm doing that, I'm just tucking it in between my fingers here. So when I pull away, you don't see the dime. And of course, it's not in this hand. It's in this one. And if I do it again, I decide. Maybe it is in this hand. I get to switch it. And you can play with that a little bit. It's an activity. And we're just doing it for good fun. There's lots of amazing things you can do with a dime. If your hands are big enough, you can hold it between your fingers that way. But you know, a really big thing you can do with a dime that is special. You get a dime like this. And maybe some foldy money like this. And you can turn those sort of things into stuff like this. And that is what we're doing for our friends over at the Lowburn Co-op who collect things like this to give to people who don't have enough. So during this week, our activity, if you get a chance this week, this weekend, next week, sometime this summer, if you can, check out the Lowburn Co-op and their address there on Five Forks Road, Five Forks Trickham Road, and then be able to make a donation during their open hours. They certainly would appreciate it. There is a need, and it's a way to show that you can be a good friend. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this story time. I hope you enjoyed all the story time activities during the week with our friends and the songs. These videos should be up on the Trinity website for YouTube for a long time. So go back and sing the songs, learn the dances with Miss Laura. Come back and hear Pastor Katie's messages again if you need to hear an encouraging word. It's all there for you. This is our virtual VBS that will be up all through the summer. And then next year, we're really hoping we see you at Trinity Lutheran Church for VBS. I hope that you've all had a great time with this and hope you have a great day.